Tak, dobrý den. Já se jmenuji Pavel Smrš, jsem z Fakulty informačních technologií VUT v Brně a domluvili jsme se s Germanem, že to vlastně je možná jediná přednáška letos anglicky, tak, protože on se ještě od manželky nebo desetiletého, desetiměsíčního syna nenaučil náš světový mateřský jazyk, tak, aby to, aby to nebylo překážkou, a také proto, že my jako VUT jsme v tom projektu, který je úžasný, který tady bude prezentován, se účastníme. Takže předtím řeknu na úvod to, že si myslím, že je to ojedinělá možnost a kdybyste někdo měl problémy tomu porozumět, tak, tak se můžete obrátit na něho nebo na, na, to, na ten NLED nebo, nebo na nás, když byste potřebovali česky, případně slovensky říkat. A je to ojedinělá možnost získat minigranty od nějakých 500 euro po, řekněme, 50 tisíc na vývoj open source záležitostí, neříkám jenom softwaru, protože to podporuje otevřený hardware, vývoj a můžete, to, co, to, co tady bude uvedeno, tak, tak je že to je jako nízkoprahový, že kdo někdy psal nějaký projekt, tak ví, že je to strašná, strašná záležitost. A tohle opravdu se dá zvládnout velmi rychle. Nepodpoří to všechno, když vás napadne, že budete dělat vlastní sociální síť, nevíte, že existuje Mastodon, nevíte, že existuje další, tak to nepodpoří, ale spoustu těch věcí to podpoří a jako i, i malé věci, vám to zaplatí ten, ten vývoj jakoby soukromý nebo v nějakých týmech na ČVUT je, je skupina tří lidí, kteří jsou z toho placení nebo mají jeden z těch projektů. Jo, jo, sorry. A takže kdyby bylo potřeba, tak, tak v té češtině, tak napište na smrš.vut.cz a jinak se obraťte na Germana. So, floor is yours. <laughs>
I, that I just started contributing to, and um, I would uh, yeah like to get paid for contributing there. Um, so that, that's that's basically what we we offer along with uh, the funding. We offer support services. So we have various partners who will, for, for example, for every project we fund, um, do a quick security scan. Somebody, a, a security expert, will spend a few days going through your code. Um, possibly at the end of your, your grant, you've, you've worked for a year on some code and you publish your 1.0 release, that's like the, the end of your proposal, it's like I'm gonna put this out in the wild, call it 1.0, so actually I, I, I when, when is something 1.0? Well, when we are kind of, we would be embarrassed if it doesn't work. Um, so then let's have a security scan, sort of stuff that we, we fund also doesn't uh, invite uh, random people on uh, other people on users' computers, um, for example. So, where does this come from? Who are we? Uh, an explanation is really old. Uh, we just celebrated our 40th uh, birthday already. Um, uh, it started really with, with getting the internet to Europe from the Unix user group in the Netherlands, collaborating with other Unix user groups. There was the EU net, uh, and, and then uh, people in, in, in the Netherlands, they, they started even connecting um, through the, the, the copper wires that are under the train lines with a deal with the National Railway. They started connecting between cities to try out if they could connect computers with each other. Um, so this was re really uh, hackerish. Uh, oh, we, we, we hear from the US that they connect computers there. Let's try that too and let's connect with them. And uh, um, so it became, yeah, between these enthusiasts, it became uh, pretty much the first internet provider in Europe. And then um, it got a bit big, the internet became big uh, at some moment. So it well, became a company that was under a foundation, but then at some moment they were like, this, this, is, this is getting too big for us, this is it's no longer fun. They sold the, uh, the internet providing business. What do you do as a non-profit foundation? You got a couple of million uh, gulden back then, before the euro. Uh, well, you, you give it back to the cost that you uh, started from. So they started giving it back to the internet. Um, and since then, uh, it's, it's been funding people with good ideas, improving the internet. So that money has long run out. But in the last couple of years, the European Union has uh, ramped up its uh, initiative on also, like, they also started seeing we need to uh, put public money for improving the internet. So it's not just commercial. There's a lot of uh, good things happening um, in, in, in the public sphere. Um, so. They are really pumping hundreds of millions uh, in, in, through like Horizon money, if, if you've heard of that. Um, so from the huge Horizon money research and development uh, and, and uh, all, all, all that funding, a tiny portion portion goes to next generation internet. That's the the program uh, as they call it. And the way to do it is because if if you apply it to European uh, Union uh, for, for for money. It's a lot of bureaucracy, a lot of pages of documents, uh, legal agreements, blah, blah, blah. Um, you as a coder doing your uh, spare time uh, hobby project don't wanna apply at the European Union for money. So they started this sub-granting scheme where organizations like us go through the hassle for applying with a proposal on how we are gonna distribute that money again to individual people, to companies, uh, uh, non-profits, small organizations, teams. So um, that's how we do that. It's, it's, it's a bit of a, a bridging mechanism between uh, bureaucracy and uh, hackers. Um, usually, the, so NGI has, has several programs. Um, the, every, every year or two years or so, they have a new pot of money with a new purpose, but it's becoming more um, generic now, but first they really had, like we have a three-year program for improving uh, search on the internet. And we have a three-year program with so, uh, so many million euros for improving uh, privacy. Um, so now it, it, it's becoming a bit, bit broader instead of having four different programs per year. Uh, but um, so yeah, you, you, these, these are some examples of uh, previous programs. Uh, or NGI Search is currently running. Assure is, we, we are part of that and it, it's ending. Dopsy was, uh, uh, data portability related, um, that has finished already. Onto chain, well, you can guess. Uh, something of chains and blocks. Um, so, um, our uh, pro the programs that we with NLNet have been um, able to, to subgrant and distribute to coders are all uh, called NGI0 something. 
So if you see NGI, then that just means European Union uh, money for next generation internet. NGI zero means an LNET coalition or a consortium of uh, organizations along with an LNET that apply to the European Commission saying like, hey, we want to distribute that NGI money. Um, so we, we, we just look for the shortest name that starts with NGI and just adding a zero seemed a, a logical uh, approach to that. So we've uh, started with NGI discovery and NGI zero discovery, NGI zero pet, uh, so privacy and enhancing technologies. Um, that worked really well uh, after that. Now, so those are those, those already finished last year. Um, NGI and trust and NGI core are currently running. So you see, we have currently about 19 million uh, euros to give. Uh, there should be uh, a follow-up uh, NGI zero uh, pro program starting uh, next year. Um, so for the next couple of years, you, you never know how long it's going to last. Like, uh, uh, depends on politics uh, and money. But um, how, at least for the next couple of years, we can pump a lot of money into free software development. Um, so where do we pump that money to? People who apply to us with a proposal who say, oh, I am uh, creating this, and can I get money for that? Um, that uh, it, it should improve some, so NGI has defined values, like security, reliability, interoperability. Um, so we really strategically select projects based on do they have an impact? If you just invent uh, a new programming language, then well, the question is, wh why yet another language? And wh like, what, what does it improve? Oh, oh, it's more, it's better uh, for uh, memory safety. Uh, it's more uh, um, energy friendly. It learns on um, open hardware, open. Uh, oh, yeah, it's specifically optimized for uh, Risk V and open power instruction set architectures that are patent free and uh, can help compete against the Intel uh, monopoly. Or like, if if you. Um, yeah, if, if a project really has a, a strategic benefit, that's, uh, that's super important for us. Um, and as I said, it can be creating, improving, or contributing to existing projects. How do you, uh, how do you get to this? Um, every two months, we have this application round. Um, the first round, so, so for example, 1 December is our next deadline. Um, if you apply, we'll start looking in December at the proposal that you write. Um, Part of the proposals we will say like, yeah, and sorry, this, this is not likely to make a chance, or this is not making a chance. We, we're not gonna pursue this one. The others we put into the second selection round, then we start asking questions like, okay, uh, did you, you, you propose to make a, a um, privacy friendly uh, encrypted, end-to-end -end encrypted uh, messenger for uh, communication, but um, how is this any different from Briar or uh, or uh, Ricochet or this or that. So we, we, we might ask, okay, well, what does it add? Why why didn't you contribute to that project yet? What's the novelty here? Um, how does it, uh, or how, how do you see this scaling? And this problem is very hard. How do you see it scale after this uh, initial project? So we, we really poke people to see like what what's this gonna bring? Um, and then if the project then gets selected and uh, also goes through an external uh, review committee to, uh, um, to have a second look, um, but then if you get selected, we agree together on a project plan where you define concrete tasks, like, okay, in the next half year, I'm, I'm plan well, the time doesn't matter for us, and also the order in which you uh, execute a task doesn't matter. So we, we plan for up to a year, but then you can say, okay, I'm just gonna uh, make this um, implementation of OMIMO in, uh, in this XMPP client so uh, these um, chat users can have uh, uh, encryption uh, work. Okay, that's one feature. Um, also, I'm going to improve the user interface, so first-time users can actually understand it, and I'm going to do some user testing to see if it's, uh, people really understand how to use it. Okay. I'm gonna, so, so you can define tasks. For every task, you see, estimate how much time are you going to spend on that, and proportionally, you give it a budget. So you don't just uh, get, say, 40,000 euros, bum, at once in your work. No, you define the tasks, and per task, you have a budget. When you deliver the task, you publish it, free software with license, um, and then you, you show, you give us a link like, hey, here, look, this merge request on GitLab, uh, that's, uh, that's where we uh, did the work that we promised to do. And then we have a look and we're like, okay, cool. And then we transfer you the money associated with the task. So some people prefer to just have one or two tasks, but then you have to wait a bit longer and only at the end of the project you, you get all the money bump at once. Uh, works better for uh, bigger organizations sometimes, but a lot of individuals, we, we really fund uh, from small to uh, bigger organizations, uh, individual people. Um, yeah, so having, having smaller tasks, and some people ask, 
task of a thousand euro at a time or like to have kind of a monthly salary kind of uh, rhythm on uh, others. Uh, well, it, it really depends. And it's also, we try to adapt to what people need and we have very different people with very different needs. So we try to be flexible. Um, it's, it's the bridging between uh, the bureaucracy at the opposite end and uh, flexibility, uh, working in your weekends or late nights whenever you feel like uh, that's the that's the site we try to cater for. When are you eligible? Um, anyone can really apply. You don't have to have a VAT number. You don't even have to write invoices to us. We give charitable donations. We are, um, at least in, in the Netherlands, we are recognized as a anbi algemeen nut bogen instelling. I'm not sure how that translates. Uh, public benefit charity. Um, so, uh, we, we, we just need your bank account number and, uh, and, and that's pretty much it. Um, we don't need an invoice. Um, projects must, ha must have a European dimension for this money that comes from the European Union. Um, but that doesn't mean that everything has to be, like the whole source has to be made in Europe and everything. Like, we, 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 we're not strict on that. Um, just if a collaborator in your team, if you're, if you're applying with two people, three people, and one of the people lives in the European Union, you already have a European dimension. Um, so, so that's uh, that's not taken. Uh, um, yeah, it's, it doesn't. It's not a purist uh, hard restriction, and also that wouldn't work. Software goes global, so it would be weird if we require everyone to have a EU-based bank account, and uh, that's just complicating matters. Um, of course, everything has to be that you produce has to be freely reusable. Uh, OSI approved licenses, FSF, FSF approved licenses. Um, re if you do research uh, for part of the work, it's uh, open access. But uh, the, um, all the work has to be, that we fund has to be research and development. If you come with a proposal saying, oh, I wanna, um, uh, fun, I wanna run a uh, Mastodon server for my community for the next two years, I'm like, yeah, that, that, that's not R&D. It's, like, it's, it's a great idea. Or if you wanna start teaching a course on, uh, on uh, privacy uh, matters to say, yeah, that we love the idea. And we might have, if, if we have money from other sources that has less restrictions than we can, uh, we, we may be able to fund that and may be interested. But um, the bulk of the money currently that we can give comes from the European Commission and has this requirement, it must be research and development. So code has to be the primary output pretty much. Code or um, hardware designs, uh, such things. So for some examples, you might have seen uh, some logos on the side. Um, I, I thought I'm gonna make a bigger list of examples and I think that I didn't know where to start. So I just took the slide uh, theme that my colleagues made and I thought, let's point at some of those. Um, you see, well, what, JC, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, uh, distributed search engine that uh, federates search so, so people make an index on their computers and ask each other, you can ask your friends like, hey, have you seen any website that is related to this topic? And just searches through people's uh, federated indexes. Um, next one, is that Tauri? I'm not sure about the logo, but anyway, um, we're heavily invested in, in, in uh, the Rust ecosystem, making applications uh, portable, um, memory safe, that, that's uh, one of our big things. Uh, go to social. It's uh, an alternative to Mastodon. It's a very low, um, low power consumption, uh, low compute. Uh, you, I, I've run it on an Olimax hardware ARM uh, board in my living room to have my own personal uh, social media presence without needing a, a server, VPS hosted somewhere. No, it's just um, trying to get really self-hostable software. Um, Dasha Row, um, I'm, I'm not sure about it. So, so just for clarification, I work at NLNet only since a year and a half. Some of the projects we funded before, I don't know the details of. So, uh, I'm putting myself on the spot here by uh, just looking at the list of some projects. Um, the show, uh, so, so trying to make um, computers boot without needing proprietary uh, blobs that are loaded into memory in order to run the BIOS, run, cooperate with the hardware, initiate the processor. Like, no, everything from the ground up open. Um, so Geeks, uh, it, it, it's another uh, famous one. Um, it's uh, um, related to Nix. It's a packaging system that's completely functional. You can install anything 
um, you, you install a package and it can build it from source or get a binary package, it's pretty much the same thing. A binary package is just a cache of the thing that's built from source. If you, everything is addressed by hashes, so if in five years, if in 10 years you say, um, geeks install some package, you get exactly the same thing. Even if it builds it from source, it pulls all the sources, checks all the hashes, make sure that you have exactly uh, the package with all its dependencies, the whole tree, uh, reproducible, um, very well defined, and that's, that's something we heavily invest in. Trying to make the software works with a single command to install, um, and it will work the same if you do it 10 years from now. So that's, yeah, the ma making soft free software also more easy to install and distribute and usable, that's, that's part of the strategy. Oh, ForgeFed is another one I like. Um, trying to uh, get, get rid of the GitHub monopoly. It's nice that people can install their own GitLab or Gitia or uh, Forgeo or, um, so there, there are some GitHub-like uh, collaboration platforms, but for everyone, if everyone uses their own self-hosted uh, installations, that's great, but you have to make an account on everyone's installation in order to make a pull request. Git is completely decentralized. Everyone's using Git to make, to contribute to others' code, and you, you can fork, you can clone, you can, like, it's, but, but then as soon as you want to contribute to somebody else's else project, you have to make an account on their forge. That's just silly. So forge federation between software forges. Um, that, that's another pretty good one. So here, uh, so, so, oh, well, it's more you might see mustard on uh, Cocodox on the document uh, editing, uh, postmarked OS on the top. Um, mobile operating systems, like we, everyone is depending on iOS or Android, and Android is kind of open source, but uh, yeah, let's not start about it. So uh, Postmark OS is one of the, um, the alternative operating systems, just Linux on a phone. Um, and there are various uh, user interfaces, like uh, KDE is working on um, mobile uh, interfaces, uh, uh, GNOME, and there's Posh. There's, uh, so there's a whole ecosystem of uh, mobile uh, software, uh, free, free mobile software that's not based on Android. We also support Android, based, we support F-Droid, the App Store for free software uh, on Android. Um, so lots of things, LibreSoc. Um, open hardware um, uh, uh, system on chip, SOC. So uh, the, just a complete processor, completely open hardware, anyone can reproduce it based on an open instruction set architecture. Because if you make something uh, Intel compatible, x86, uh, then there, there are patterns on, on, how, uh, on the instruction set architecture itself. So you'll never have the full freedom to just add things, change things. You're quite limited by the um, design of the processor. So in, in, uh, there are two uh, open ones that are quite popular. Uh, so RISC-V RISC -V is uh, mentioned also on this slide. Um, and uh, open power is, is another one. Um, LibreSoc is implementing open power in, in, in actual hardware. Um, Dino, uh, Dinosaur Days, uh, XMPP. Uh, client, we we are we are still investing in XMPP. Some people might think it's completely dead. Um, everyone is going to Matrix and so, but um, we're we're also happy with uh, we're also funding Matrix-related projects. But XMPP is still it is a widely used, widely implemented, hundreds of implementations. Um, uh, there, there's life around it, and uh, it, it's yeah, it's just a matter of um, getting people. Uh, yeah, focused, uh, focusing on the ball again, and um, there, there are extensions to, uh, for doing the signal protocol in XMPP, so, uh, so, so uh, encrypted, end-to-end -end, uh, encrypted messaging. Taler on the bottom, uh, payment system, uh, in discussion with the European uh, Union also for making this, um, the, for the digital euro plan uh, that, that the European Commission wants. Um, getting, making sure that payments are anonymous without inventing a new cryptocurrency, just blind signature-based um, payments. So you know that somebody paid, but not to whom. You know that somebody got money, but not from whom. Um, so unlinkability in payments. Activity pub, the whole Fediverse. We've, we found lots of Fediverse. Good. Um, here are just some themes, and, and, and I already mentioned a lot, so uh, just, just these, these kind of things, just to give an idea what kind of things are make, make for likely proposals. Um, besides funding, we provide support. 
we um, we try to get everything covered that we fund with a security scan. But also, we care a lot about people who are not sci who don't have two eyes that work well, uh, hands who work that work well, like like most of us. Um, so accessibility. We have a team that uh, checks every user interface we fund, tries it out with a screen reader, listen to your software that people create. Well, some software is just awful to use if you have to listen to it instead of look at it. So we give feedback, like, hey, if you add in this, this web interface, like there, there, there are standards, area roles and uh, uh, web accessibility guidelines. Um, if you just change these things, if you look at this, and, and, and they, uh, they help making software usable for the, the, the rest of the world as well. Um, so packaging, as I said before, I mentioned Geeks. Uh, Nix is uh, even bigger than Geeks. Uh, Geeks uh, was derived from Nix. Um, so yeah, we, we, we're, we're trying to get every project we uh, fund to be packaged so that people don't have to read a readme. Look like, oh, I need uh, Python uh, uh, lib XML, and I need to install uh, this library. And OK, how do I have to install it? Where do I have to run make? Like, no, no. Like, you should just be able to say, install, package name, done. And we don't want to force this on every programmer to learn how to do how to do this packaging. So we try to we get the Nix Foundation to do this uh, for people. Um, they run a summer of Nix program now every year to get students to learn how to do this packaging and then help packaging. Uh, community building, diversity and inclusion advice, uh, copyright advice, licensing, uh, internationalization. So help help you get your uh, translation set up. They don't translate, we don't translate things for you, but we help you get set up so people can translate your software, uh, localize it. Um, good, uh, this is all provided by our partners. So uh, we already had our partner here from the Brno University of Technology. Um, so uh, just like, uh, like, like the, the but, uh, we have various, uh, so I mentioned Nix Foundation, uh, security audits by radically open security, um, whole list. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm going to keep it at that because it, uh, I see a sign here that says "Finish, please." I, I'm I, I'm so happy you you made an English sign for me. Um, so, J Jaco, is this correctly spelled? I, I should I was planning to uh, look that up. It's from my uh, from my first Czech lessons. I uh, I uh, try to <laughs> good. Um, we will be tomorrow morning in the hall with a table with lots of stickers of the projects that we, uh, we have been funding. I've got a pile this high of stickers with me. Um, if you want to know anything more, uh, co co come talk to us. I'm um, happy, to, uh, happy to answer your questions now. Um, and um, Quick I'll be around. Prompt, also, prompt yeah, I don't speak any Czech, so I'm, I'm not going to listen to all the talks. I will be here tomorrow. I will have to amuse myself. Come ask me questions in the hallway. If you have any questions, tomorrow, no. if you have any questions yeah. right now. So if you have things right now, uh, stream, yes. until uh, this man uh, show, shows like we have yeah. to stop, uh, feel, feel free to shoot. If you have quick questions, ask them. We are working on a project, which is a platform that supports research education. Um, we are just open sourcing it now to Google Live and things like that. Yeah, so, so yes, yeah, just repeating. Um, if you want to open source a project, start to, start to open source your project, uh, can we help with specifically the licensing or yeah, more broadly? Yeah, yeah. Um, right yeah. 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 So, I th yeah. Yeah, the, the eternal questions, GPL or uh, not GPL or uh, GPL, hard, strong, copy left, whatever. Um, we would not be the best party to come to. Um, need for us, usually licensing advice comes, like, usually people come for funding and then they also, we also give them help with improving their project in other ways. Right. Um, but I, th I think, um, so if, if our projects then have questions about licensing, we would forward them to FSFE, they are in the list of our partners uh, for the licensing questions. Um, so in this case, maybe you can directly ask FSFE um, because otherwise, we, we, yeah, 
it would probably forward you. Um, but um, yeah, it's just, uh, of course, if they help people that are funded by us, then they get paid from the European Commission as well for giving that advice. If you ask them directly, they might not get paid for it uh, in the same way, so that's the difference. We can propose a project just to get, yeah. We, we do have, um, we do have a, a, a program, by the way, it's called NGI Zero Review, where we do offer the services without the funding, but it's only for projects that have gotten an NGI grant before. So because as I said in the beginning, there, there have been many other NGI um, yeah, uh, sub-granting organizations, uh, and those didn't offer the same services we offer, and the European Commission thought, we want the services for everyone. Um, so for all those projects that have been funded before. For keeping funding yeah. it. Uh, no, anyone, please go ahead. Last one question, which will be very brief and very short. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think we need funding from the Commission. We need funding from the Commission. Two sentences after. The ILD, first I repeat, the ideal <laughs> stage to uh, apply with a project. Um, whenever you need an impetus and some money to push it forward, I guess. Uh, we, we have, so as I said before, we have projects that start, that have an idea and want to start. It helps if you have something to show or if you at least show that you've done your research. Um, but any, any moment can be good. Okay, big hands for... Thanks. Thanks.